Hi there, thank you so much for watching my first ever YouTube tutorial. I'm just starting off here with my creme de la mer toner and I'm just going to basically take off all the extra makeup that's left on my skin. I have already cleansed but I'm just going to do that um, to clean up my skin. And now I'm using the Arbonne Moisturiser. This is an oil absorbing one so it's absolutely amazing for putting under makeup. So it's got a matte finish to it so it makes it really really nice base. Just rubbing that all into my skin. So now I'm just going to start with my eyebrows. So I'm using the Arbon Brow Pencil in dark and I'm just etching a little shape underneath my natural brow hair there. And I'm just giving it a bit more definition and actually creating the effect of having more hairs because I literally have very sparse eyebrows, I have barely any there. So I'm just using really fine little strokes of the pencil there just to create a more fuller brow. And I'm just feathering that product all the way from the tail into the middle of my eyebrow. I'm actually slightly pulling the hairs up as well just to create more of a textured effect. And then I'm combing through with the little spoolie that's attached to the brush, um, attached to the pencil, sorry, just to basically, again, make more texture of my brows. As they are very sparse. And just repeating the same on the other side there. Always starting underneath the brow and then working the product up through the hairs. This is personally how I prefer to do it. Some people like to start with an arch on the top, but this is just my personal preference. I've always done my brows this way. And now I'm just going with the MAC Gel Liner in Dip Down. And I'm just using the Arbonne um, angled brush here and that's just going to create a little bit more definition towards the tail end of my brow and I'm just slightly drawing in some hairs there as well. I'm going for a really really fluffy kind of textured brow um, for this look, I personally prefer it. And now we are going in with the MAC concealer. This is the Select Cover Up Concealer in NW15. And I personally really like this as an eye base, it's really really thick, it gives an amazing like tacky texture for my eyeshadows to stick to. Especially if you're doing like a heavy glam look, it just makes it stay in place all day. And I'm just packing that on, starting under the eyebrow, etching out a shape. Slightly pushing it up into the eyebrow to conceal any like sparse hairs I have, um, or I need to tweeze my brows a bit. And literally just pre like packing that on, pressing it into... So I'm using the MAC 252 brush to do this. Um, it's the best concealer brush I've ever bought. It's quite like dense and it just gives a really, really good coverage basically. So really, really pressing that in and that's gonna create a nice base for me. Not too tacky, um, but not matte either. I never set my base with um, a nude eyeshadow like a lot of artists will. And then just the same on the other side. Just making sure that I've got an even distribution of the concealer there, um, whether it's up in my brow or actually on the eyelid itself. Just wanna make that completely even, completely flat, and that's, what it, that's what's gonna give me a good payoff of my eyeshadows as well, and get a really good pigment and a, like a perfect blend as well. And you can see I bring that right out past the eyebrow and right into the inner corner of my eye. This is because this is actually where the eyeshadow is gonna cover. Um, and also a little bit further just to make it easier when I come to blend my foundation at the end. I'm using all sides of the brush as well, so I'm using the flat to press in, I'm using the round top edge to actually carve out my brow, and then also um, on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just applying my masking tape now, and this is going to basically give me a really good edge. Um, for when I come to do my nice smoky eyes. So I'm now going in to my brow bone with the MAC eyeshadow in nylon. Um, this is a really, really bright, pigmented, um, kind of pearlescent white shadow that's amazing for highlighting. And I'm just popping that on with the MAC 195 brush. Um, it's got a really good kind of angled edge, so you just get right up into the um, shape of the brow, the arch there, and then I'm just applying that into the inner corners of my eyes as well. So now is the tricky bit. This is where we want to get our blend. So I'm just starting off with the MAC 224 brush and a MAC eyeshadow in Rule. 
Now this is like a really nice kind of peachy orangey kind of shade. And I'm just buffing that right up into the kind of upper crease area of my eye. And blending that right through into the nylon eyeshadow towards the brow bone. And this is my transition shade. And then I'm using the Arbonne eyeshadow in Canyon um, just to warm it up a little bit and create a bit of a deeper orange. I'm using very light feathery strokes just to kind of build up a bit of a colour, but I don't want it to be too orange. We're going for a darker look rather than an orange. I'm now using the MAC 217 brush with the eyeshadow uninterrupted, um, the Pro Longwear one. And this is a really nice warm brown um, and it's just basically going to again act as another transition shade just building up those layers each time you're going one shade darker and one shade like one bit nearer to the actual socket of my eye and I'm blending that right through to the middle I'm now using an Arbonne blusher and this shade is called Merlot and it's just a really nice kind of deep burgundy colour and then I'm actually going in as well with the Arbonne shadow in Onyx um, and I'm just blending that. That's a really like matte pigmented black shade. And then just going back over with the 224 brush and blending out those colours. Back in with my 252 brush um, and the concealer again. And I'm just going to etch and carve out a shape um, where I'm going to have my eyeshadow on my lid. I'm using the round edge of the brush to create my curve, so I don't actually have to do really any work. I'm literally just pressing that product onto the lid. And the same on the other eye as well. I will list all the products below that I've used because I have to talk quite quickly because I've sped the video up. So again with the same brush, I just find this creates a really good like flat colour. Um, it's already got a little bit of concealer on there. Um, I am going in with the shade Quartz by Arbonne. And this is just a nice matte nude pink. Just pressing that onto the lid just to literally set the concealer. I don't want anything too kind of vibrant. Just keeping it quite nice and nude. I've also added a little bit of opal in there as well, which is a shimmery um, champagne shade. Going back over my blend again. Now I'm using the Maybelline gel liner with the Arbonne angled brush again. Um, this is my favourite gel liner I've found. It's literally £8. It's so cheap, but it's got a really good creamy texture. So it blends really, really well, like nicely and well into the eyeshadows. It's just really easy to apply as well. So if you want a bargain, £8 Maybelline. I do quite thick liner for this look. Um, just because otherwise the, the eyelid can kind of wash it out a little bit. So I do like a nice thick black liner. And I don't really do a flick or a wing with this look. Um, the eyeshadow itself is the wing. So you really don't need to. It's just the case of blending it into that black shadow that we just applied. Blending it into the onyx. And I'm just going to pack on a little bit more onyx as well. Um, just to really give like a nice definition and where you can't see the line between the eyeliner and the black shadow, so it blends. Now off camera, I applied my lashes and I also set my gel liner with uh, the Onyx eyeshadow again. This is just gonna stop it printing at all. And to do that, I just use my 212 brush from MAC, which is a little um, flat brush, just to set the liner. And I also applied some of the Arbonne Brow Cream in Medium Dark as well. Um, onto my eyebrows just to give that texture because I forgot to do that before. Just cleaning up the under eye and where I've peeled off my tape there with a wet wipe. And I'm now using the uh, Glam Crystals Glitter Liner. I can't remember the shade, I'll list it below. And I'm just going underneath where I've peeled off that tape. Back in with the Maybelline Gel Liner underneath that wing and that's going to create a really nice um, flicked under eye. I'm just really packing on that gel liner. I will sometimes use concealer under my eyes as well to give a good base but because I'm going to be using a black shadow I get a good payoff from this shadow anyway so I don't really need to. And I'm just using that gel in the waterline as well. Um, a lot of people ask me oh you know is that safe to do that? It's completely safe. It's absolutely fine. As long as you're careful and don't poke yourself in the eye like I did.
and now I'm just going in with my 224 brush and again using that um, Arbonne Shadow Canyon and then the Arbonne Shadow with the uh, 217 brush in Onyx and just really smoking out that under eye. I quite often leave my under eye bare um, but I'm going to do a heavy look today, very heavy. This isn't for the faint hearted, this look. Just cleaning up that line again. Just want everything to look really, really sharp. And then blend it right underneath the eye and repeat on the other eye as well. You can see it's starting to take a little bit of form as well. And I always go back over my blend just to keep um, making sure that all the colors are still there. Now going in back in with my concealer and my 225 brush, sorry, 252 brush. I'm just going to carve out underneath the eyes there, just giving a really clean line. Don't want to pull it right the way into the middle of the eye because that's going to ruin that definition I got from the blend. Um, but yeah, just kind of giving a nice clean line on the edge of the eye there. Pulling that concealer down as well because that is going to stay there now. Right, so onto my skin. So the base is the Arbonne Liquid Highlighter, the Sheer Glow Highlighter. Um, I love using an illuminator. Um, sometimes as an alternative to a primer, you just get a really dewy look from your foundation by doing that, and I absolutely love this. So just gonna pack that on to my skin. So it is kind of effectively a primer, but you just get a slightly more um, kind of glowy finish with your foundation. So now I'm applying my foundation. I'm using the Arbonne Liquid Foundation in the shade Neutral Beige. And I'm just applying that with what I think is actually a blusher slash contouring brush. This is the MAC 109 brush. Um, but it's giving me like an amazing, really flawless look. I am absolutely loving this brush at the moment. So I start my jawline and work my way up. Um, I occasionally will start in the centre of my face and work out, but because I want a lot of coverage, I'm just going to literally pack it on on my jawline and work my way up. I'm just slightly feathering that into the concealer that I put under my eye as well. And literally just really packing on that foundation. You can see that the base that I use is giving it a really lovely dewy finish. I'm not going to use any matte powders or setting powders or anything like that because I do want to keep my foundation looking dewy. It's quite nice and fresh um, paired with the heavy eye. Anything too matte could make it look quite cakey. And just blending in that concealer as well um, that I'd use on my eyes. And just really kind of working that into my skin, using patting motions as well, um, just to help set it. And just all around the jawline as well. I do take a good while on my foundation just to make sure it's absolutely flawless and perfect. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more concealer, the remainder that's on the back of my hand, just to kind of brighten up my under eye. Um, I'm not going to do too much heavy contouring and definitely not using a liquid, just because it could really overpower with the eye. So I'm just going to use the Arbonne Bronzer instead. And I'm using my big fluffy powder brush, this is the MAC 150. Um, and doing a combination of circular motions to create a blend, and then patting to set the um, bronzer as well. And also warming up my face by going round onto the jawline as well. And then just repeat on the other side. You just want a nice diffused kind of look with that. Onto the jawline as well. And just patting it around my forehead just to warm up the forehead as well. And now I'm applying my highlighter. I'm using the NARS highlighter in Albatross um, and applying that with the MAC 187 Duo Fibre Brush. Just gives a nice blend for your highlighter. Um, it's similar to a fan brush, but a round shape instead of a flat fan shape. Um, does the same kind of thing. Loads of highlight, 
a little bit on the end of my nose as well and down the centre and then also on my Cupid's bow. I'm just applying a little bit of that bronzer as well with another 224 brush, um, just doing a light nose contour. I find it makes my nose look nice and skinny. Album Lip Liner in Cafe. I absolutely love this nude liner, it's one of my favourites. A uh, little top tip for putting on your lip liner, do a tight smile um, with your mouth closed and you'll get a perfect line every time. Just blend that through as well. I'm not going to use a lipstick, I'm just going to apply a gloss. This is the Arbonne Gloss in Mallow. I am obsessed with these lip glosses. They smell amazing, taste amazing and make your lips look really big. So this is my favourite shade, Mallow. Just like a nice nude. And we are done. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Um, I'm going to list all the products below and thank you so much for watching.